So what's going on guys? As you can see, I have the wonderful Grace and Justin from the Justin Copeland channel. It's great to have both of you guys on here. I have not filmed with this young lady in at least a year and a half now. It's been a while. It's been a while. So I brought some fragrances very specific that I know this gentleman on the end has not smelled. And I'm very curious on what they think about them. So we're going to do the infamous smelling rate video that you guys request so much when I get together with this man. And like I said, we're lucky to have Grace with us this time. So this should be quite interesting. Lucky to be here. <laughs> Happy to have you. So stay tuned. So let me show you guys first. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Here you go. <clears throat> One for each of you. Thank right. you. Okay, just read. Ooh, wow. Tell me what you think. I'm very curious about all five of these. This smells so good. Mm -hmm. I think so too. Wow, it's very spicy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sweet. I was almost reminded of Pasha Parfum for a quick second. In the air, I'm smelling that comparison yeah. too. <clears throat> It's warm, kind of cozy. Wow. Um, kind of ambery, like so, brown sugar. So there's definitely amber in here, or an amber accord, because there's no such thing as mm -hmm. real amber in these days. <clears throat> the spice you were getting is cardamom. Oh, yeah, it's definitely a cooling spice. spice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, look, both look very intrigued. <coughs> it's, I, love, I love it. Yeah, I mean, up close, it's like nothing I've ever really smelled. There's something about it that is so interesting. I don't know if I love it. It's fair. Um, yeah, I, I like it a lot. I don't think it's wowing me, but it's I like it peppery. a lot. Interesting. There's no peppery note, but I understand where you're coming yeah, from. Yeah, I get what you mean. Almost when I tell you more about it, I think it'll make more sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Care to rate it? Ladies first. I'm going to rate it a seven and a half. It's a great rating. Okay. Seven. I think that's... I'm going to say seven. You look like you're about to change your mind. I was. I think, I'm, I'm at, <clears throat> I think that I'm actually going to give it an eight. I think I would really love it on skin. I agree with her rating. That's kind of what my first impression is. I have not filmed a video on this yet. This is a brand new release from Aiden Bob called Agmeta. Oh. Okay. This is the Les, Ex the Les Extraits collection. I've showed you guys mm. on video once already. I've I just do been doing some trail. test sprays. It retails for 280 for a 50 ml. Okay. The box, they have a little explanation. So uh, it's used the most, the finest raw materials available. So top tier of the top <clears> tier. <throat> It has cardamom in the top. There's oud and coffee in the heart. Coffee. There's amber. That's kind of that roasted dark tone. Like it's way better on skin. Yeah. It's really good on skin. It's yeah, a simple. It's way better. On right. Skin. It's so simplistic <laughs> and it's no breakdown, but yeah. it's so good. They have two brand new releases. I've got the name of the other one. I have both. Twisted Lily sent them to me, and I just wanted to bring one, so I kind of. Just sniffed them both, and I said, yeah, this is definitely the best one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to bring the best of the two. It's way spicier on paper, mm -hmm. fresher on paper. That cardamom pops more here. Mm -hmm. You get more of the coffee. Much more warm and, warm and robust. And a little less spicy on the skin, mm -hmm. more smooth and inviting. Everything mm -hmm. kind of works in harmony in this fragrance. There's not a lot, but you can detect all of it. Like everything I told you, you probably smell, yeah. especially on yeah. your skin. Yeah. Simplistic notes. So good. <clears throat> gorgeous fragrance. Yes. I love it. Eight and seven. Good stuff. Food as well. It's a dry, dusty. That's exactly right. It doesn't have the funk. Yeah, not really funky at all. Yeah. Just like in a dark way. Yeah. All right, guys. Turn around. All right. <clears throat> Let's see what they think. Mm. That's a good start. Okay. This interesting de this definitely has like kind of like oh i know what this is i'm like i'm reminded of I tommy from me i figured he would figure it out it's it's blatantly <laughs> obvious because we've talked about it so many times but he hasn't smelled it exactly but you're right so talk to me about it what do you think about it i mean 
I've given it very, very yeah. high praise. The first thing that came to mind was like, oh, like semi retro, simple, sexy, masculine, fresh. 90s. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, wait a minute. This, these are chords, Tommy from it. Ah, uh, okay. I know what it is now. 90s. <laughs> you just soon tell your wife what it is. Yeah, so this is essentially, you remember, have I had you smell Tommy? So this is Montal Fougere's Marine. This is basically niche <clears throat> Tommy Hilfiger. I've really? Many ways, yes. But I'm yeah. dying to know what you guys think about it. <coughs> okay. They know what I think about it. I've done a full yeah. review on it. You've seen the review. What do you think? Well, what do you think? You're first. Ladies first. Yeah, we want the fresh. I was the know. lady. I was the first one. I was the lady last time. Justin, <laughs> yeah, I think you need to be the lady last <laughs> time. Justin. I mean, to me, it smells <laughs> like if you smell Tommy, which is very aromatic, kind of like minty lavender mm -hmm. with. A little bit of an almost fruity quality. I was gonna say apple. It almost yes, smells apple. There's apple. Me. At least there's apple I, and Tommy. I believe there is some sort of fruity <clears throat> note in here. I don't remember mm -hmm. specifically. Yeah, apples and Tommy. They have a fresh water note. Mm -hmm. Very oak moss heavy. Very That's the green. aquatic. Okay. So it's very fresh water, lavender, uh, aromatic, and it's a clean musk as it dries down. Mm -hmm. With that green spicy feel. Because of the watery nature of him, the freshness, it really f livens up the oak moss. So it's not yeah. more earthy. It's more fresh yeah. and spicy <clears throat> green. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's like a denser, richer version of Much Tommy. more powerful. Too. Yeah. I can't. I don't know if I could say it's like a better quality Tommy. Honestly, because Tommy doesn't smell ultra scratchy or anything to me. And it's, it's giving me the same vibe. It's just mm. like an a parfum version of it so to speak hmm. i mean Fair. honestly this is a it's a direct rip it's got to be if this as is, it dries it's <clears> not <throat> though it's the only the really? opening yeah as it dries it, it goes its own way it's like borderline identical aside from it being denser and more powerful mm -hmm. where it's like how is that a coincidence <laughs> how and it's, it, it's such an iconic fragrance i do call it niche tommy all the yeah. time yeah so. so niche tommy honestly <clears throat> I think I prefer the original Tommy. Wow. I didn't see that coming. <laughs> Honestly, this, uh, this is almost, Tommy has this, it has a cleanliness to it that this almost loses because it's so dense. Hmm. So Montal, you have offended Justin Copeland. <laughs> At least, well here, look again. How up, dare you copy I'm sticking it up my nostrils right now. That is not <laughs> how you wear fragrance. Yeah, also on paper. <clears throat> yeah, so not in the yet, air, yeah. I honestly, I, I feel like in the air I would feel like Oh, I'm wearing Tommy. I knew you but were I can guess smell what it all was. Day. I'm just curious on your thoughts, and yeah. I'm surprised at his yeah. thoughts. I mean, it's almost too much. It's so strong. It's where I'm like, so strong. It's like Tommy. Tommy. Yeah. It's like Tommy is grabbing. Hey, it's me. <laughs> Tommy's I'm like, I know. <laughs> Whereas before he was like, you know, like smooth with it. But but so, I'm curious. I'd be, I'd love to wear it on skin and see what the experience is you like. Can spray it down tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what would you rate it? Actually, we haven't heard a single thing. Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, yeah. Gotta go. <laughs> yeah so I, don't, I don't think I've ever smelled Tommy, so I can't speak to the comparison the at all. passion he spoke with. It's quite <laughs> very impressive. It's borderline show. rare, as you said. <clears throat> I love, I love I a good like Justin I may have shown it to you in some videos a rare. year back. Mm -hmm. Maybe some fresh videos, I don't remember now. Yeah, but I'm definitely getting that apple. That was like the first thing that I smelled. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's very fresh. It definitely has that kind of shower gel, aquatic mm -hmm. note that you were talking yeah, it's about. Very, very fresh and watery. It is incredibly spicy. It's spicier than you would expect for like a more aquatic leaning, mm -hmm. fresh fragrance. For sure. Um, I'm not necessarily drawn to like the freshy, like shower jelly types, but um, as they go, I like this one. I, I like the spiciness to it. I like that it has depth. I I think that I would really enjoy it on skin. I think he would love it much more if he gave it a few wearings. Um, <laughs> For sure. Because it doesn't have like that synthetic sort of like it's, cold, it's not. <laughs> fake quality that a lot of the shower gel, more like aquatic fragrances yeah. tend to have to my nose anyway. So um, yeah, I think I would give it a seven. Good rating. Okay. And I truly believe, because I know he's a good fan, a fan of a good Shepra, through a few wearings, he'd be like, you know what? Mm. First impression on paper <clears throat> is a first impression. Now I love it. 
you know, yeah. I'm obsessed I really with believe that. The name is interesting, and I, I, it sounds like that the way that the fragrance behaves is literal to the name. Yes. Which is cool, and that has my but interest. It's, but, um, it's called Fougere's Marine. So it is technically oh, a Fougere wow. with, oh, yeah. with a marine personality, mm -hmm. which I dig. You know, it has on, like a saltiness. It does, yeah. Mm -hmm. that was the, sure. That's the thing that I was thinking of in the top with yeah. the apple. It's like. Yeah. I mean, it's a salty musk as it dries. Yeah. When I, that's it, why it's If I just turn my brain off and I smell it, I smell Tommy, and I, that makes me happy. Mm -hmm. I like Tommy. Mm -hmm. So just going off of that, yeah, even though I said all of what I just said, I give it an eight. <laughs> because to me, it's like, it's Tommy. They're in the same cup. Yeah. So then I would give Tommy about an eight, so I give it an eight. When we talked about what to bring for each other to smell that we hadn't smelled, I was like, ooh, I need to bring this yeah. so you can try it. Yeah. So, so some really good ratings. I love it. I gave it a 9.5, which is a wow. 10 from me. Because yeah. wow. I was flabbergasted that in the opening, it's so accurate to Tommy. Yeah. And it brings all the performance that a lot, a lot of people would desire. You get all of that here. So yeah. if you're a fan of Tommy, this is the ultimate version. Good stuff. Yeah. All right, let me show you guys. I love it. Really nice. So Very good. Warm. I really like it. <laughs> For any B-roll that might make this in, they are talking about Agneta from Eight and Bob. <laughs> Oh, what a, we have had All right, ladies and already gentlemen. Already, we have had such a wild ride. Yeah. A lot of diversity going on mm -hmm. here with the ones I chose, these four fragrances. I thought it was five. It's four. Uh, oh, wow. Cool. Ooh. Interesting. Good start. Okay, wow. Your first. Wow. Oh, I, I know what this is now. <laughs> I'm well, like, I mean, we talked about what it's I was like it's ringing bells and I'm like but it's off because at first I'm like well it smells like the Narciso with the iris and I'm like but it also but I also you told him that's together, not in this video bam I can know what it is now mm -hmm. so you can go ahead <laughs> I don't know mm -hmm. what it is <clears throat> um it's interesting I'm like getting it but I'm having trouble smelling it I think I might have like I was burying my nose in my eight and bob just <laughs> what I need to be doing. It. So good. Yeah, it's very, it's kind of fresh. It is a little powdery. Mm -hmm. um, kind of cool. It's definitely all of that. Not, um, like, I didn't mind the first spray. Like, I love the freshness of the first spray, but it's, like, very rapidly dying. I'd be curious to see what would happen on skin. Probably wouldn't be that much different. It'd probably be less fresh on the skin. Honestly. In some ways, it kind of reminds me of like the Dior. Yeah. <laughs> She's got a nose, I tell you. Profile with yes. like that. The Dior own profile. Yeah. Similar. It's similar. Um, which I like. I like some of them. Some of them really annoy me because of the, uh, the powderiness of it. Love them all. <laughs> so that, so anyway, so I... There's kind of like an elegance to it, which mm -hmm. is definitely that mm -hmm. profile. And um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not sure how I feel yet. Mr. Copeland? I mean, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. I don't think you I can go ahead and say it now. It's well, <clears throat> first of all, I want to use the context of what Grace said to reveal what it is because her nose is ridiculous. <laughs> so. First of all, this is Armani Code Elixir. Parfum. Parfum. The newest one. The newest Armani Just came Code out this year. Okay, so historically, Grace has not liked the Armani Code line. Not even the Eau de Parfum? Whenever I... Eau de Parfum or... Heidi or loves Parfum. the Eau de Parfum. <laughs> I mean, yeah. loves. For her, they're just powdery and a little too soft. And at least that's what you said in videos. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, you're right about the Dior Homme reference because there is iris in here that's what's reminding me of that mm -hmm. so that's why i'm like this freaking girl <laughs> um, now that being said now my thoughts um i've not the first time she's throwing him off because of past experience <laughs> versus a current in the moment yeah. experience you know the yeah the armani code dna is something that i've i've had a changing relationship with mm -hmm. today i'm it's not my favorite and I have a dissonance happening. On one hand, I like the scent. It's pleasant. 
Um, I like Iris, so the addition here is cool. But on the but, other on the other hand, as a parfum, it makes no sense to me. This scent, this scent DNA makes no sense to me as a parfum flanker. Hmm. It's not really, you know, it's when a different you, phrase. Yes, yeah, you know, and when I think of parfum, I'm not thinking of like, oh, is it richer and stronger? I'm thinking about like, what is the personality? Does it have a deeper, deep and dense? Yeah, something that's what I with, for with parfum, more complexity in the base. But it's basically Armani Code with Iris. It's the EDP plus Iris yeah, is how I describe it. That's all it, it is. Mm -hmm. And to me, that's kind of disappointing. I'm like, but again, I actually paper, prefer the EDP. Paper up the nose. I'm like, eh, okay. It smells nice. But same thing. I have the same. You know, I, just, same I would probably. wish that this is my first time smelling. Mm -hmm. And I was curious what it was like. And I would assume for a parfum or hope for a parfum. It'd be richer, but it's just like our breaking code. hearts because there's a ton of fans of this. Oh, one. I'm sure because again, it smells nice. Yeah, yeah. who wouldn't like it? It smells nice. Mm -hmm. If you like nice. Iris or Armani yeah. Code, you'll like it. But yeah, you know? as a flanker, like if you already have Armani Code, you have to go, no, don't run out and go get this. Mm -hmm. Try it if you like it more than get it. But it's kind of disappointing for me. I was expecting more. The way I, I said it was if I didn't have the EDP, yes, I'd prefer <clears> to get this, <throat> but having the EDP. Yeah, I feel like it's one note different and two two redundant. Yeah, agree. Even though the note breakdowns are kind of different, what I smell yeah. is one. It's note Armani different. Code with a little bit of this almost Prada Lome like iris to mm. me. It's some more it's clean, more soapy, soapy and clean. in a way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm. for sure. It's nice. We have the same feelings, <clears throat> my man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, in terms of rating, what do you? Yeah, what do you guys think? Um, I'm gonna give it a six. I don't think it's a oh, bad yeah. fragrance. Mm -hmm. I think it smells like nice but it's not my taste and if i was going to mm -hmm. pick something that this occasion would serve i would go in a different direction okay with something that i just preferred more yeah. it's a great spicier assessment. yeah yeah i give it the powdery. same rating also a six. <laughs> pair of sixes <laughs> so this is sorry i dropped it this is my decant from my luxury scent of armani code parfum as we've already described it's armani code parfum if not for this decant, I would have bought a bottle oh, that I would have oh. felt was too redundant to a recent acquisition bottle because I just mm. got the EDP recently. So yeah. I'm thrilled. So this goes back to sample first, guys, because you all assumed I would love it. I assumed because he and I share a lot of similar <laughs> tastes, especially with Iris. Mm. Yeah, I was on the mark. I figured he'd feel kind of similar to me. So as you can see, underwhelmed, but not disappointed in yeah, some ways. It's great. still nice. It's just not as good as it could have been. <laughs> He's a little disappointed. <laughs> I'm, but it, that's so crazy because I have smelled a lot of those before, and mm -hmm. it is a complete combination of those and the Dior. Yeah. Iris. There you go. Fair sure. enough. Six out of ten. Show you guys. Grab some test strips. You know everything I was bringing. <laughs> no, not concerned. <laughs> All right, turn around. I, I did not it. have that luxury, so I will make it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we talked I mean, about it. You know? You're going to, I know she's going to guess at least where this is coming from. It smells like Raja. Yeah. It is. She's got such a great nose. She's I mean, so good at this. But he has such a style. It's unmistakable. It's like, it's so complex. Yeah. But he, it's so familiar. Yeah. He always has like such... I smell it floating in the air. It's so good. Yeah. It's so spicy. I'm kind of surprised she to hear that. Really on skin, it's actually not super spicy. Well, you should note this. Grace has and a heightened sensitivity to spices. That makes sense. That. There is a there is some herbs often, and spices in You often in there. smell spices when I don't. There's herbs and spices in yeah. there. It's just not the forefront. If I was to spray your skin, yeah. I think you'd have a bit of a different reaction. Perhaps. Yeah. I smell like something very specific, but I'm not sure what it is. This is like, is. it's kind of like juicy citrus but with something almost funky, like some kind of funky oak moss or some kind of funky animalic tones floating around. I believe it's this ambrosite, amber, this specific ambery molecule. Mm. It's a synthetic. Mm. Um, I'm picturing the picture that Fragrantica <laughs> uses on it. Amber tonic, okay. something along this amber something. That's the thing that's kind of different that's in the top. I pick it up. I know okay. that's what it is because it's warm. And ri it really richens up it the does. top note. It's so thick. I almost smell like thyme. 
Does it have a spice? Probably. It does. may. It, I mean, it's a Rise of Park Films fragrance. I don't remember the note breakdown because it's, it's just like 30 or 40 notes, everything. you know? Everything. everything. Yeah. Very complex. Very. It's it's about picking out accords with Raja yeah, Dove. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Notes so, are difficult because I mean, there's it, so many. What of them. A, so it's interesting. I'm not smelling the citrus as much, mm. but I'm just smelling like this green, which I think green. was quite the... Green. You'll notice a theme to that. Oak moss. Like, it smells yeah. so... Like, the spice to me is almost like a... It's making my nose almost like tingle. Like, mm -hmm. if you were... Mm -hmm. You know, like a peppery, or that's I do smell like it's more like green. A pigeon. Yeah, it's making the spice. Yeah, because there are some greens in here. This is uh, it's definitely on the sheep vibe of things for sure. It's actually classified as a citrus, really. That's the actual classification. Well, there's more than citrus. No, there's on. way more. <laughs> there's way more. I wouldn't even yeah. call it and like it a, a citrus a woody, that. it's just more than that. Totally smell like the animalic that you yeah, were talking so, about. There's a slight mm -hmm. edge to it. Mm -hmm. Some slight smell. There might even Darkness be a little bit of civet in the, it. I, I, yeah, I want to say something. there is. This yeah, this a complex. It could be right the now. darkness of the oak moss too. And sometimes that has like that dry. We smell. can actually look the notes up after. This is the last one. Yeah. Okay, that's right. Yeah. yeah, this is so good. I don't remember them all because it's like this. This is good stuff. Kind of uh, reminds me of like the top of apex. Like if you didn't have like. I see what you mean by that. I see. What you mean. I can understand where you come from, but for that, for the parfum I would think more because of the citruses are more dominant in the parfum. Yeah. Because with the EDP, it's much more dense green and earthy mm -hmm. for Apex. So with the parfum, I can. Without to it. like it has obviously a lot more, but I feel like it's like a section in some ways. It's mm -hmm. got like mm -hmm. that green, bright, but dark. <laughs> Mm -hmm. These are yeah. one of those fragrances sure. you have to deep dive with because there's yeah. just so it's much going on. on. And you yeah. have to put it on skin. I feel like all fragrances, but Raja especially because it's so complex. Mm -hmm. You can't even get it on paper. Wow. It's like a lot of layers. you just get so much. wispy. Yeah. You look like you seem to be a little in love over there. No, I mean, it's great. I give it an eight and a half. Eight and a half? Yeah, this is solid. It's a really good rating. Mm -hmm. This is a really good fragrance. <clears throat> it's so good. I think I'll, I think I want to give it the same. Two eight point fives for Harrods Parfum mm -hmm. Pour Homme, the Harrods exclusive. You see, wow. green is the theme. It's so is good, super well, classy. This is. I kind of want to spray it on my other hand. You absolutely can. <laughs> the juice <laughs> is so thick and dense. I don't know what all concentration he uses. Well, but it's thick. The parfum. Hey, yeah. on skin, it's already so different. Right. Yeah, we... Justin, you want to spray it on? Sure. By all means. Wow. It's so good on skin. This is one of those fresher fragrances Whoa. that's so dense, I love for the cold. This is great if you like fresh in the cold. Dang. It's so different on wow. skin. Let me smell it on you. I know the me. green tones are coming out of the It's even a little bit more different. Oh, wow. Let me see. Wow. Yeah, it smells more like a sheep on you. Yeah. Right? Yeah, it's so bright. Wow. It's yeah. I'm getting so much it's, more it's of like a citrus on It's like kind of leathery up on me. It's a very thick, sweet citrus because it's just yeah, so Yeah, I dense. was getting it pretty sweet, almost like candy yeah, at first. Yeah, it's so But dense. then it becomes pretty green. Dang. I get this leathery, almost like labdanum coming through. You see all of this? This is what happens yeah. with the most it's expensive like fragrance It's like a leathery, resinous, oak mossy feel brightened by yeah. this juicy but thick and heavy citrus. Yeah, I mean it's Roger. Like, I mean, I fully so anticipated much. this to win because I know they're fans of the brand. We are, and this is one of the exclusive fragrances. I like I said, exclusive to Harrods, one of the trendsetters for the whole Harrod theme that's been going the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. One of the first, as far as I know, and uh, it's mm -hmm. the most expensive for a reason. Mm -hmm. Wow, it smells that way. It's it wow. smells it's so expensive. Good. I feel like this is you don't get this every time you buy niche, but a lot of the time. You get what you pay for. It's very true. Mm. Two 8.5s out of 10 for Harrods Parfum Pour Homme. Well, kind of the way I anticipated this to go for the most part. I really? didn't expect Code Parfum to get a bunch of rave reviews. I figured it would be middle of the road, <laughs> at least with him. I wasn't sure with her, but I know yeah. his taste pretty well when it comes to Iris, because <clears throat> I have a similar taste to Iris. But 
kind of the way I expected. I figured they would like Agnetta a lot. I do as well. Beautiful mm -hmm. fragrance. I think I'm that, even... That was the star I of the show until my, we got to this. I would change my rating even and give that a 9 at this point. With it on, wow. skin. on skin. It's, it's a been nine. living on my skin. I love it. Like, it's I'm amazing. obsessed. I would wear it all the time. It's absolutely that worth is a sample. Lovely. Isn't it it's so, so much better on skin. Guys, don't make <laughs> your final judgment on paper. Don't do it. So what I'm saying is don't leave... Don't go by our example. What we just did here on, for these the twenty whatever minutes it well, is. We sprayed it on skin. So. I know we did, but that was. But the rating. two they sprayed on you on know. skin, they're like falling in love. Yeah. Right so now, guys, you know? <laughs> but even then, even then, this isn't the final rating. You don't. I love it. I'm buying it. Like, no, massage. you gotta wear it. Wear it. Oh, by the way, Virtus Vanilla Oud. Fantastic in the Siage all day. <laughs> Try that one too. But until next time, do me a real quick favor. Go ahead and like, comment, subscribe because I do appreciate all the feedback. <laughs> I love hearing from you guys. Thank you guys so much for doing this with me. It's always fun when we can so get good. together. It's such a treat to have Grace this time. Thank I will you. have Justin's channel link down below if for some reason or another, I don't know why, you're not subscribed to him at this point. Go ahead and click that link. And until next time, I will say if you get your hands on any of these four and you give them a spray now, you'll probably end up thanking us later. P.S. We're in Chicago. We packed a bunch of orders today. If you haven't bought Second Soul Evening Mystique, you should do it immediately because they're Shame, shameless plug. running out. So. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. <laughs>